Hey, all my highly caffeinated sysadmins, it's Lex from PDQ.com. I'm going to show you how to do a run command, which is one of the tools uh, in PDQ inventory on your machines. And the great thing is you can select a machine. Obviously, I've got Bird Person, Allen Rails. Let's just do Allen Rails. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to Tools. You'll notice right here, Run Command, Control, Alt, C, or I can just click the Run Command. And the Run window is going to open up. Let me take you through this really quick, and then we'll run a command. Right here, this drop down allows you to run either a, you know, a command line command or a PowerShell command. We're going to stick with the command line command. Boy, that really sounded redundant, didn't it? But it kind of is. We're going to do that. We're going to run basically a GP update. GP update. I like to force those because, you know, it's the way I am. I, you know, full contact IT. If you wanted to do a multi-line, you could do that, and it's going to allow you to do more than one line. And you'll notice right here the run type is remote. You can do it local or remote. Remote's going to run on a remote machine, which is what we want in this case. Local would run on the console itself, not really what we want. Run as credentials user. You can, you know, just the default credential interactive local sysadmin logged in user. I just leave it at the default myself. Timeout, how long do you want that to run before this thing says it didn't work and just times out? Um, and if you need to add success codes. Now, right here was Allen Rails where I picked the machine, did the right click. I can actually right click and choose additional computers if I wanted. So let's just add bird person because, you know, couldn't make up my mind originally. So now at this point, I execute this and it's going to go run that GP update on those machines remotely and return the information back um, to the run window here. Uh, <clears throat> Also, something else you can do with this edit mode right there. Did you notice I just hit edit mode? Now I've made a tool out of this. And I just call this a tool GP update. I can assign it a shortcut key and now I will have a tool in there that does that GP update also. Anyway, just show you that tool and then we'll call it good. We go to tools. There's my new GP update right there that I made from that run command. And uh, there you go. That's how you do it, guys. Running commands on machines. It's great. Very powerful. Use it. I love it. Catch y'all later. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.